Today, Robot Man here. I've got a large motor, I've got a medium sized motor. What's the difference? Oh, how come there isn't a little baby one? Oh, there is. Look, there's a little baby one. Oh, but we're not using that one today. Large ones, medium ones, which is better? Rawr, which one's better? Rawr. So, we're going to try a few different things. The first thing we're going to do is just attach a wheel to each motor. So, we're going to have a wheel on the large angular motor and a wheel on the medium one. And I'm going to attach them to the same hub. I'm going to put a little indicator on each one, a bit like a hand on a clock. And we're just going to see which one spins the fastest if they're both going the same speed on the iPad. So I've tapped in the code. I've made two separate stacks. And if you do two separate stacks and press play, they both run simultaneously. And we'll see which one turns the fastest after they start in exactly the same position. I slowed the video down here to 30% so we can count how many times they go around. You can see they're going pretty much at the same speed, but after three seconds of regular time, you'll see that the larger one goes a little bit further. So the larger one does spin a fraction faster, maybe about a fifth of a turn faster after three seconds. Then I decided to build a car. I built two cars actually that are identical. Almost identical anyway. One of them had two, two large motors and one of them had two medium motors. Because I thought, why not race these two cars that are identical and we'll see which one goes the fastest. So I spent a bit of time making them exactly the same. And then I thought, I'm going to put them on a board and I'm going to get them to hang on to this board. I use this board for my jousting robots. I made them so they hang on to the sides of the board. We make, we're going to hang on to the sides of the board and we're going to make them go on two separate boards at the same time. The problem was that when I ran the code, uh, one of the hubs seemed to react a lot slower than the other one. So when I pressed play, one of them would start faster than the other one. And it had nothing to do with the size of the motors because I even swapped the motors over um, and I tried several different things. I pressed play on the iPad simultaneously. I pressed the button simultaneously. Um, and it just, one of the hubs just didn't react better. So maybe it was a bit faulty. So I decided to tie them together. That's right. I got, I got found an old pair of headphones and I cut the ends off and I used that cable to actually tie the robots together. And I joined it onto a piece of Lego and I added it to both robots and I was going to do a tug of war. So I was going to tug of war these robots to see which one was stronger. And as I thought, the ones with the larger motors, the car with the larger motor actually well, had a little bit more power, a, bit, a little bit more strength or a little bit more torque if you like. So that kind of proved to me that the larger motors had a bit more power. So in conclusion, they're both very similar and they're both pretty awesome. But this one's pretty cool. It's probably nearly as fast as this one as far as how many revolutions it makes. Nearly as fast. And this one's got much more torque, so much more power. So if you've got to build something that uh, maybe needs to go uphill or something needs to lift a lot of weight or need to carry a lot of weight along, then I'd use the bigger one. The bigger ones are probably better in lots of ways, but often the smaller ones will suffice and they're cool, they're easier. So what do you reckon? Which one's your favorite? If you like these videos today, please like and subscribe and check out these other videos because there's some cool stuff here with Lego Spike Prime. Awesome. Check out my Robot Man website, www.robotman.com.au.